My name is Ann Makepeace, and I'm the director of the Grand Center for Arts and Culture in New Ulm, Minnesota. Uh, the Grand is a nonprofit arts center that's been in existence since 2009. Uh, it is a full-fledged art center, including uh, everything from live music to a gallery uh, to artist studios uh, to art classes. Uh, we do all kinds of things related to the arts and culture. Uh, the first floor houses what we call the Grand Cabaret, and it's spelled with a K. It's trying to be a little German there. Um, the Grand Cabaret was the first space that we renovated and started, and that was in 2009, or 2010, we opened, which means it'll be 10 years old next year. We have had live music for almost 10 years on that uh, first floor, uh, every Friday, almost every Friday and Saturday night throughout the year. So on the first floor, we also have a gift shop, an artisan gift shop, which we added about a year and a half ago. And that takes up the front of one side of the building. And we sell all kinds of artist works there. Uh, we try to be practical. So we're selling some art that you place on your walls, but much of it is ceramics or um, wood carved carved bowls or cards or things that you would buy and maybe give as gifts, jewelry. Um, or that you would use in your house, but they'd be more practical. We put together four of the rooms, actually three of the rooms in a bathroom, and turned it into an artist in residence apartment, which we also use as an Airbnb when we don't have an artist staying here. We do not have a formal artist in residence program, so we've intermittently had artists here. Uh, when we don't have an artist, we are earning money on the Airbnb, and people love it because they can go downstairs to the cabaret, they could take a class here, they're right downtown, and that way we can help offset some of our costs in the building. We also have a large gallery, and the gallery houses um, art 10 or 11 times a year we have shows. Um, it can be any kind of art, and it's, um, it's been painting or drawing. Uh, next week we have a oil painter. Um, who's doing a land and sea exhibit. So it's, it's all kinds of things he's painted. So for the past year, we've been putting together what we call the seller press. Uh, we have, I don't even know how many presses down there, a whole bunch of presses. We have lots of type that's been donated. Uh, we have composing tables where you put the type together so that you can print it on a card or a letterhead. Uh, we have an art-related area where you can carve linoleum block and actually print that so you can you could come and take a class, create a card that would include an image that you you carved yourself, and then you set the type for the inside of the card, and then you can have your own set of Christmas cards, for instance. I think that um, New Ulm has a history of arts and culture, a strong history of arts and culture, uh, a lot of music, and if you you know if you've ever attended a polka days years ago or anything here, there's this very strong culture of all of those things. Yet, we didn't have one location where somebody could create art, display art, uh, have a concert. Um, we have a grand piano on the second floor, so have a small, you know, intimate concert even. Uh, we didn't have a place like that. And I think it's important to know to have a central location for all those kinds of things.